Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Yes, the pass free has opened finally in our zone. It has been a little bit honestly shaky, but we do have some open field footage to go over for our pass free opening so far. So stay tuned for all the action and all the fighting that's been going on in Server 2's Super Server Division 8. Hello, so yes, we're gonna go over our pass opening. Finally, we're in zone three or four, whatever you wanna call it, but Afrian, the final area where the flame dragon rests. And as you can see, it's the TATM Alliance versus the Go and GRZ. But as a little heads up for those players who are watching, so far, Go have been doing most of the fighting and pushing as a whole, while the GRZ have been a bit more pulled back and playing the defensive game, but us in the TM Alliance are pushing forward, which you're gonna see at the very end of today's video. So, as you can see, Go are pushing very hard into the TA area, and as you can see the TA are basically trying to defend this flag, and what this flag actually is, is one of the flags Go have placed after the pass. And what this basically does is obviously allows the flag to passively build up without having to worry about any troops reinforcements, which is a really cool thing that they've done. Because once this is built, you can then teleport your cities and actually have a quicker refresh time for the next flag, right? So it's a really clever tactic that they're doing here. But here we are with myself we're in the open field combat. I have brought three marchers. We're rocking the Frega Fear combo with Viola's bow to give us that a bit of Legion Marksman health because we are rocking Wyvern Riders. We've got as well our Lilia Valen with our Mages and the Phoenix Eye with giving us all that magic attack bonus. And then we have a Nico Canara as our final march there, rocking the Shadow Blades. And as you can see, because we're rocking arches right here, these guys that are targeting us on the left side of like Coralix right now, who is the goat guy with the Atheus, we're gonna start targeting him down and the amount of damage we lay out really quickly on him is absolutely ridiculous for us, right? You can see Burning right there. He's on the tile and Burning's one of the whales in our alliances. And as you can see, he's basically sat on there letting the AOE fight back mechanic do all the work. So it's a really easy way for him to actually fight. He's using Lilia and Hosk. And if you've got a maxed out Hosk, this is a really, really powerful match for T5 players to generate a bunch of actual merit and gain a bunch of score as you can see right there. So his match finally dies and we're going back into our scenario. And as you can see, we are on the murder ball. And what we're trying to do right here, just to give you guys a bit of an insider, is basically try and think about where our murder ball is and what our murder ball is thinking. Because right now we're not doing any voice comes and that, so we have to use our intuition and PVP skills as a decent player to hopefully do some good damage. So you can see the mud ball going in and out. And so I'm gonna try and figure out if I'm going in and out with it, but the majority is holding back. So I'm honestly, as you can see in the bridge waiting, but as soon as we see some more of a push here, I do start to pull the trigger. So I can see this is a commitment now, and because this is a commitment, I am following up on the commitment, and it's gonna allow me to obviously do a little bit of damage on the exit, and these guys can see that I'm obviously willing to commit if they're willing to commit, and you can see the whole murder ball does work really well together for a little while, and we're able to get on the exit right here a really nice artifact charge, right? So we've got our Lilia set up, and we've got our Shadow Blade set up, so we're gonna be pulling it back into combat when we're able to hopefully to get those artifact triggers. Because that is some free damage there that people are not obviously understanding that we can deal. And just there, someone's dropping into it. So we're doing the quick instant combo with the artifacts here. And you can see that cavalry just taking an absurd amount of purple artifact damage. And just like that, he's in the red, already focused out of the fight. And we are nice and healthy, as you can see. We are hoping and we are holding together as a murder ball 
fighting strong even though if you remember from any of our live streams we are fighting as i nickname it the dead zone this is on the bridge and we don't want to be on the bridge because any of this aoe that's about to come right now is going to do a ton of damage to all of your legions for free and you don't want to obviously be losing that when you're just trying to run away across the bridge so just like that nice and easy as you can see we repositioned on the other side of the bridge and we're going to be in this nice defensive position we're going to be able to hold as well on the flank because we have our own flying unit we're going to be able to use as well this flying unit if able to try and hit any of these marchers that do all the commit on the bridge so really good and easy position and awareness from myself as you can see with my marchers right now and that's allowed us to get some crazy merits as you're going to see in the next clip when we've just got a really low march left we're going to see how far we're able to get that so i hope you've enjoyed today's video so far this has been afrian fighting the pass freeze are open we're in zone for the final zone where the flame dragons are fighting go have been doing an amazing job fighting as you can see some grz members are on screen so honestly credits to you but at their main pass they are playing the defensive game so it's going to be interesting to see at the end of this video where the current map is and you can understand what we're talking about once we see that area so let's move on into another clip and i hope you've enjoyed it so far and if you have smash the like comment and subscribe to the channel so here we are and this is right at the end of everything that's been fighting as you've been seeing we was in and out of combat on the live stream for a while and at the end we caught out our mate archer marcher so i'll say so we only had our mages left and as you can see with this mage march we're going to see how far i was able to actually push this with out it dying and as long as you keep your march within the murder ball right here this is a really good example of how much damage you could actually deal if your march was still healthier and obviously you was able to go a little bit quicker into the combat without fear right because obviously at the moment as you notice i've only got 12.8k troops but we are so far away from uh, my city it's going to take me between 20 minutes to 25 minutes for this march to walk all the way back so it's better for it to die than to try and trail all the way back but it's just not worth the, the hassle but you can see this match already generating 19.8k merit so we're trying to hopefully get it to the 20,000 merits with so little troops left and we're gonna see if we're gonna able to do this because as you can see we did eventually start pushing these guys all the way back to the pass where eventually they did stop fighting for a while as you can see at the timer at the top eventually if we move the camera you'll see where we were what time we'll find because this was in the morning towards the afternoon as well so it wasn't like it was late on as this recording has been done so hope you guys have enjoyed it so far though we are 5.7k we are 19.9 four eight troops and i'm like no way we need to get this we need to get 20k so i'm trying to gag these guys on to fight i can see this guy hitting me so i'm basically hitting the hold troops and then by hit, pressing that whole troops button as you see it immediately stops my march from moving and then immediately allows it to fire and start to attack that unit with it attack so a really good little tip there if you're trying if you're getting hit and you're trying to just get as quickly back into combat if you just press stop and get your march to stop the command it immediately starts to retarget and attack whoever hits him first with a natural auto attack so really good little trick tip and trick there so i hope you've enjoyed it this has been the pass free opening so far we're gonna flip it over like i said into the current state of the game and where we are at in the area so i hope you've enjoyed it so let's move on into that zone hello so yes we are now back in the current time so you can see it's 8 utc as the recording have been if you look during the fighting this was again between 12 and 2 o'clock in the afternoon so what we've been doing is coming through this pass as you can see building all 
all the way up and around to this pass because if we build into this pass and actually do build it and we need to obviously help right now since we are on camera and we should have been still building but from recording obviously our troops have walked back but what we're going to be able to do is hopefully touch onto these flags as you can see destroy the flag touch onto the pass and according to the leader we're going to be able to actually take advantage of this pass it has not got the same sort of buffs as the other passes so you're able to actually take this pass here and actually invade backwards into a goru now and if you control one of these passes then you're gonna be able to go backwards again and fight so hopefully this is going to be a really interesting turn of events because as you can see right now GRZ's plan is to play the defensive game and if they're able to try and sneak in some cavalry units for that pesky farm killing they're going to be doing that and obviously it is what it is but you can see here they've got a load of keeps ready to go i've got one keep here second keep here and another keep right there so jersey have been turtling in and waiting but the goat boys here as you can see being pushing and this is what we were talking about earlier so you can see this is where the battlefield all was for the ta and goat side and this is the flag that's been built and because it's been built now you can see a ton of cities in this area and because they're in this area when they're able to maybe during some tm downtime like they're going to be able to start building this flag again and if they build this flag again it's going to allow them to get some more cities in and obviously start building and refreshing quicker than the other alliance but you can see ta they have built all the way from this pass down into this zone and already down into the middle of the map so they're already in the prime positions that they need to be in but obviously they're going to be start building across to the market as you can expect to eventually clash at the heads of the go alliance so that is this zone happening right now this is the final zone opening and obviously once this is concluded we're going to see what obviously unfolds from here so i hope you've been enjoying today's video this has been the pass free opening big review summary of the live stream what's been going on with some nice pvp analysis commentary from me to you so i hope you've learned something today and if you have smash a like comment and subscribe to the channel for more daily call of dragons content with me mr sneaky an official call of dragons content creator and until next time peace out guys